Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, and we are here today with a very special guest again, because you're going to have some in every episode for this season, at least. She is a jack of all trades, a musician, an artist, and one of the funniest, not just females, but people that I've ever met. She is uh, another integral piece of the improv troupe that me and Jonas were a part of, and I am honored to introduce Coco. Howdy. Hi, Coco. How are you? <laughs> How have you been? I've been good. <laughs> Isolated like crazy, but good. Yeah. As we see with all that alcohol behind you, you can't be bad. Right? Yeah. I'm, I'm never alone with these friends. <laughs> <laughs> these are my best friends right here, all of them. <laughs> now, now, Coco, before we get started, I want to open up with this. Um, every time I talk to somebody from, from the improv troupe, they bring up the time that there was a party at one of our members' uh, homes, and I was making jokes about you and your boyfriend getting married, and everybody's like, yeah, man, you were trolling her pretty hard. I want to apologize right now to say that anything that I have said has been purely in jest and at no time did I ever mean to hurt your feelings or exceed any boundaries. And if I have done so, I apologize. If you don't feel like I have, then fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But I feel the need to say that because I guarantee you it's not my intention to, to ever make you feel uncomfortable. Oh, well, thanks, buddy. All right, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. No oh doubt. goodness! So what? I want uh, to get that been... out the way. I feel well. Yeah, good. man. Hey, it's it's fine. Yeah. What have what's been going on in pandemic life for you? Well, let's see. I taught myself how to tap dance. Tap mm. dancing. Mm hmm. How, and I'm on the third doing? floor, so it's fun for everybody. Mm. It yeah, sounds yeah. Is. I wish I wish I'm actually gonna see if the apartment below you is empty because I just want to listen to yeah. uh, that dancing <laughs> all night. Me with my feet. Nah, that's nice. It's very nice. She, yeah. She's that neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do they ever complain? No. Not no, yet. So not to your face, at least. No, definitely not. You should start doing it at two a.m. They'd be happy then. <laughs> Now, uh, this is some of your artwork on the back wall. We were discussing that. We're, no, we're not talking about the bottles of liquor behind you, <laughs> unless you're making your own liquor. Um, <laughs> can you tell us something about your artwork? Uh, yeah, I've done a lot of like pen and ink stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Not all of this is mine, but um, I did the moth that's right behind me. And then there's a watercolor and ink piece up here that's based on a fountain in Chicago. Um, and the rest is all just art that I've collected over the years. So okay. nice, nice. You uh you did a really good job of pointing to things behind you in a reverse camera because I I struggled to do that. Right. I, I was just I... trying to be all suave about your alcohol and was like over here off camera. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> behind me I have uh Sasuke and uh Nar Naruto. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. If you're familiar with that I would be surprised because most people aren't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It, don't I'm, worry. It's I'm really seven years cool. Old, dude. It can't be yeah, old. it's very cool in certain circles. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we've uh, we've done some of our uh, other improv friends on here. Maybe we'll get a, a, a coordinated improv, a giant group improv podcast one time, and see how that goes. That would be. How, how are you acclimating to to life beginning anew? Pretty well, I think. Are you, are you yeah. ready to get back out there? Start I mean, I breathing I've around other people home for years, so it's like not much changed in the no. pandemic. So, okay. I don't Would know. you see you've been what for years? Working from home for years. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of just he, more of the same. He likes to tell me that he's been preparing his whole life for a pandemic because he's like, I like to hang out by myself, so I'm yes. fine with doing that. I'm a born introvert, so it was it was nothing for me. But I am definitely ready to get out there and start breathing in the vicinity of other people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's scary. Breathing, yeah, breathing. Breathing. yeah, breathing other people's yeah. breaths. Mm. 
<laughs> sounds scary. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, you but not eat to get back to hot yoga. Yeah, goat yoga. Isn't that an Austin thing that got popular on the news for like 20 minutes where they do I yoga know. with the goats? I want to do goat yoga. <laughs> they make you do poses and then put a goat on your shoulders. <laughs> what, what, what is this a thing? Yes. Talking, I'm going to look it up for sure. Talk, I'm going to look up one second. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll keep talking. Why would you want to do yoga with a goat? Coco. Because they're adorable. But don't they Holy like eat your God. hair or something? Don't they? They might. Hair? I don't know. Okay. You also get poop on you, but they're so cute. All right, here we go. This is like legit. Like they're <laughs> they're literally Yo, doing fam, yoga and I'm there's done. goats on them. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god, look at this lady, dude. Yeah. She's like I'm I was joking about them putting the goats on top of you, but oh look at that guy. He looks like he's ready to go. He's, <clears throat> yep, <laughs> they're just, she's so happy. The, and the goat looks so mad. <laughs> Why is this a thing? Why is this a thing? <laughs> this guy, look, look how scared this man looks. Can you see his face? Can I zoom in on that? He looks very scared. What? Yeah, dude. People need know. to be stopped. <laughs> people need to be stopped. Sometimes people need to be stopped from their own uh, malfeasance. Like, like, who was the guy that was like, you know, it'd be great. <laughs> we should do yoga, but let's bring in some dirty, filthy, filthy rabies infested animals to wow. spread bacteria amongst everyone. Wow. I'm sure they test the animals for rabies. <laughs> Are you sure? Like, oh, what are they going to do? They're going to have a COVID checkpoint in the goddamn door where they're testing some rabies swabs? Here's an idea. The next trend, bat yoga. Bat yoga. They put you in a dark room. <laughs> Okay. And you do yoga. <laughs> you With just, the bats. Yes. Just flying around. Mm -hmm. Hanging oh, that would be down. Good. Oh, that'd be good. Just yeah, yeah. Shitting guano all over the place from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like I like the sound of that. And there should be like I feel like there should be some like ominous red light that comes on every so often, just enough mm -hmm. so you can like see the bats and be scared, but then like you don't know till they start nibbling on your ear or something that they're in there. You oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh no, yeah. You're not. just like in a squeaky room with all these little fluttery, fluttery sounds. <laughs> Are you two all right? <laughs> you, two, you two good? You good? So you can talk you, about it. This is this reminds me totally of something off topic, but have have you guys ever rode the scrambler like the like the, the amusement park ride where it's like where that it, spins you like you spin and it's like it kind of goes back and forth and you I don't know yeah is okay, that does that, that ring a bell for you Coco the scrambler probably it's like the teacups but oh like, yeah uh, yeah yeah it's a uh, hold on the uh, the scrambler. Goat yoga, the scrambler. Oh, Jesus. No, I don't want to do that. Anyways, there's this really cheesy amusement park up by where we grew up in Ohio, and it, it was called uh, Conneaut Lake Park. And they basically had this ride, and, and I'm, I remember the ride was in a building, and there was a big, giant gorilla on top of it. Had nothing to do with the ride, but it was basically like an indoor scrambler, and they had, like, the ride inside a building, and there was, like, strobe lights and lights and stuff, and, like, I never rode it because, like, the line was too long, and my mom didn't want to wait, but I heard it was really cool. And that reminded me of that when you were talking about doing yoga with pets. <laughs> exactly the same. Same thing. Basically, <laughs> basically the same thing. Right. You like know, there I could be to... like strobe lights and, and scare. Like we could put a grill on top of the building and then you do bat yoga inside. That's what I meant. Ooh. Yeah. You could do yoga in a haunted house. I yes. scare easily. <laughs> He has a hard time getting crazy. limber when I'm in fear of my own life. I don't know. Yeah. For me, it's not, it's a no go. For you guys, I, I, I wish you well in your business endeavors. Yoga's hard, dude. Have you ever tried to do yoga? No, no. I've never tried to do it yoga. It is hard. Coco, have you done yoga? Are you a yoga? Have you done, like, it is a challenging thing to do. When they want you to, like, balance all of your body weight on your wrists, you're like, mm -hmm. yo. I'm not a small man. Then you this just like not... hold the hold the pose, right? It's all about like getting into the pose and then holding it. Yeah, but it, you don't realize how strenuous those goddamn poses are, dude. You're like, oh, they're just leaning a little bit with their arms up. How hard could that be? Yeah, it's like constant push-ups. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really messed up, dude. It's I, like, like like planking I've done. Like when you 
it's like body planking essentially, but you use your whole body to hold yourself up in a thing instead of just your arms in your, yeah. It's like you get into a half lunge and then you like put your arms in the air and try not to fall over and look like an a hole. Hmm. I see the benefits of it. Or you put a goat on you when you're doing yeah. it, one or the other. Or bats. <laughs> or <laughs> any or animal bats. you want. There it is. Half zoo, half yoga. Oh, so you can like get into the tiger cage and do yoga? Absolutely. See what happens. <laughs> that sounds good. I tiger think we're just starting a circus right now. <laughs> you're not even wrong. <laughs> right. It's right. going to be like tightrope yoga. That's what that we did a story last week about the lady who broke into in the El Paso Zoo, jumped and fed spider monkeys hot Cheetos. She was actually in there trying to do yoga with them. What? I think that, yeah, yeah, yeah. She thought she was doing good, but gave the monkeys indigestion and got no, fired from her job. At the same not everybody's time. handling pandemic the same way. Some people are just <laughs> like, hey, you know what? Maybe we should get back out there and start hanging out with people. Other people are like, hey, let's jump into the animal preserve and feed the animals uh, handicaps. <laughs> I see Andy, Andy hot fries. Thing, right? Yeah, they are essentially. But it, like, you know, that's a very good point. You know, some people, like, I think everyone had their pandemic struggles, you know, like, cause it was like, it was obviously a very traumatic time with like all the stuff that was going on. But, you know, some people come out the other side and they're like, you know what? I think I'm all right. And other people are like, I'm going to jump in the fucking monkey. Yeah. Other people are like, I'm going to go shoot 13 people downtown. Yeah, yeah, anyway. exactly. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of pandemic and guns, it's, it's a perfect segue into my first story. So, as you guys know, or have maybe heard, some other states are doing lotteries to uh, incentivize people to getting vaccinated. Whether Ohio is doing five $1 million prizes and some other states have done similar, West Virginia has taken it to another level. They are, they are doing a... Uh, they said West Virginia has come with a lottery scheme all of its own, giving the newly vaccinated the chance to win not money, but rifles and shotguns. They will give away five custom hunting rifles and five custom shotguns through its lottery. And uh, yeah, so the lottery will also give one resident a million dollars, but they're giving away guns. So this is great. <laughs> is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong by giving people guns? What do you mean? You can get a gun anyway. I mean, I'd like a free gun. A West free Virginia. gun over a million dollars? West Virginia is like, we don't want the virus to kill you. We want a gun to kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. It's just, it's just interesting that like, you know, like it said here, like some states have college scholarships and yada, yada. It's like they know the population so well. They're like, what could get people really out there who are like on the fence? Custom, not just a shotgun, custom. Probably has like gold inlay and shit, diamond studded Dude. trigger. Can I Dude. get a bedazzle one? A bedazzled <laughs> gun? Hell yeah, you can. They'll Hell give you yeah, a bedazzled you shotgun with a yeah diamond encrusted bullets. This, this reminds me so much. Washington. Washington State is doing one of these as well. Okay. And it's called Joints for Jabs. I saw that. And yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. doing is they're giving away free marijuana cigarettes if you get the uh if you get the uh the vaccine. vaccine. Yeah, yeah, I think that's through some of the smoke shops. Yeah, they're like, you come in and show you're vaccinated. Yeah, no, you got like, what was it? It was like Popeyes or something's giving away a free chicken sandwich or something. <laughs> yeah, like, lots of to... people are giving away free stuff to get people to get vaccinated. You man. go to so, the joint store and they give you a big old fat joint to smoke. Me and Jonas's home state of Ohio did the the lottery where they were giving away scholarships. No, and, one, uh, five $1 million prizes. Yeah, and five $1 million prizes. My mom sent me the information. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you have to live in Ohio to get it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, sign up, get it well the second. Right? She was like, No, you're born here. I'm like, we, nah. we got the whole family signed up. You're like, Mom, I live in Texas. I can't. I haven't, sign lived, up. In, right? I haven't lived in Ohio like 20 years, lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, but, what would it like? Say, okay, say, I don't know, like, uh, say uh, you were against getting vaccinated. What would motivate you to get the vaccine? Ooh, what could mm -hmm. motivate me to get something to do that I wouldn't do? I think yeah. money is probably the best thing for me. Money is probably the best. Money yeah. is good. Uh, like an all expenses paid trip. 
or a cruise would be awesome. Oh, oh a cruise? Like, here, let's take the pandemic and get on a cruise. Yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, we'll send you to North Korea. Free cruise in right. North Korea. You, you want to go? I did see that there's a cruise uh, out there and two people tested positive for COVID on it, by the way. Like, I saw a story. I didn't, like, read more about it. I was just like, oh, what do you think? Go figure. Um Let's see. Yeah, a trip would be good. Like that would, I think that would motivate me. Like, oh, here's a free trip to some other co- North Korea. Yeah, that wouldn't be. Now, see, I'm gonna, I'm, I want to get into some choppy territory though, with this. <laughs> because now they're getting to the point where they're offering these things for you to get vaccinated. And when do you th- do you think it'll get to the point where people who aren't vaccinated won't be able to attend certain events? Now there was already yes. a baseball game that is like, or a baseball. Uh, franchise that said that if you are vaccinated you get a discount on the seats if you're not vaccinated you can still come to the game but you have to sit in a certain section which is Mm. you know a a form of (laughs) just kind of like separating those people who are already at odds with each other because of the the divisiveness of getting the vaccine uh there was also a concert venue that i saw that 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 said that they were going to charge the people who got vaccinated less money to go to the concerts than they would to people who were. Oh, it, it was ridiculous too. It was like it's ten like bucks, $1, and it was like a thousand dollars if you weren't vaccinated to go to the concert or something. Oh. Mm-hmm. So how do you how do you feel about Coco? I want to get your input. How do you feel about that? The people who decide not to get vaccinated being treated differently. I I don't think that it's going to become a thing where like you're you can't go to some event like if you haven't been vaccinated because I'm already seeing like a lot of people are trying to like tiptoe around the issue. Sorry, my dog drinks water really loudly. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, but yeah, like I I think there's like issues with uh the like medical confidentiality oh, HIPAA? Or, like, yeah HIPAA laws. Mm-hmm. yeah like you can't just like block people from going to you know whatever your event is if if you haven't been mm-hmm. vaccinated because there are also people who just for medical reasons can't get the vaccine mm-hmm. that too That's true yeah i've seen things well you know i've also seen things where they're like you know if you want to come to this you need to be vaccinated and people will complain and they're like well then just don't come if you if you have a problem with us requiring you to be vaccinated, then don't come to our event. Then you want to come and cause a stink, we're not going to let you in. So it's like, I, well, I feel here's the other thing too. It's going to be to the point where it's, it's like, yeah, you're going to all of a sudden. I saw an article where the they were we were racing towards hitting whatever Biden's goal was to, to get so many people vaccinated by July fourth. Well, now all the people that wanted to get vaccinated for the most part are vaccinated, and the people that are left are people that don't want it. So it's like, of course, the numbers are, are like, it's just slowly starting to go like that. And you're going to hit a point where you aren't going to be able to convince some people to get it, period. Yeah. Like, no I matter mean, what. There's definitely going to be those people who hold out. And that's why they're bringing these um, incentives in, like, the money, the the joints, the guns. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, you see who they're appealing to here. <laughs> it's so funny because they're like, you live in Ohio, you can win a million dollars. You live in Washington, they're like, here's a joint, dude. <laughs> yeah, you like, live in West Virginia, yeah. you can get a gun. So, yeah, it's kind of telling about who the people. <laughs> Obviously, not exactly. the, affluent, the affluent individuals or the educated right. so much. Right. Not saying that, you know, people who like guns or joints or money are yeah. uneducated, but... Yeah, it's just funny. Um, I don't know. I just think it, I feel like it's a bad idea. Like I can see the government is going nowhere near the whole idea of like you having your vaccination card. Like I carry mine on me just in case, but I've never been asked for it. And that no, would be kind of nuts if we ever got to that point. <laughs> like when the well, first I even one, saw. Oh, go ahead. People, people laminating them. Are you going to bring that up? Yeah, how no, people no, are no. laminating them and like putting them around their neck. I'm like, I'm never going that far. Right, never right. Well, that far. I, well, a lot of stores now even are even like H E B, which was hardcore. You have to wear if you know what H E B is a Texas only grocery store chain. Um, you they were one of the proponents from the start. Like they had people at the door handing out masks and stopping people. Now and now I went there yesterday, and now masks are optional. Like three quarters of the people in the grocery store did not have a mask on at all. Like, and it was, it was even weird to see that now that things are starting to get back to normal. Um, and it's like, but then they talked about doing like a, pa- a vaccine passport or like some sort of identifying thing. 
But I think the only people who are opposed to that are like, I'm not opposed. Like, if I have nah, a vaccine, no, nah, I'm opposed like, to it. Why? I'm opposed to it. Why is that? You ha you're carrying your card in your wallet. What's the difference? Uh, because I don't feel like people should be singled out because of their decisions, man. You can't I force agree. somebody to do that. And I mean, what's the if difference? You're, vaccinated, then you're good. You're very, very true. Because there's no difference really between. People. Uh, segregating over vaccine other than segregating over race or gender no, or anything that's, else. that's much different because you don't have a choice about your race and I'm not going to let you cancel yourself by bringing that. It's, it's basically well, the Holocaust. Nah, bro. No, but, you know, but I mean like but any sort of, what, my right point, yes, I'm glad that you helped me with that because it was very, <laughs> the way I said it, it was not proper, but you you can't, you're, you shouldn't be able to segregate people over any reason, whether it's a choice or not, you know, it's like, yeah. I just don't think that people, you, people have the right to make whatever decisions they want to. And if they choose not to get vaccinated, then fine. Don't, don't get it. Whatever. Don't mm -hmm. get it. But I don't exactly. think they should be withheld from society because of that decision. Well, and I think that's part of why, like, with travel, there, different countries are requiring either your proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Yes. Other countries, yeah, they can treat us like second class citizens all they want. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were honestly, really it's yeah. even worse in other countries. They are more yeah. like they're crazy. I can't remember where it was exactly, but they're like, yo, we're gonna start finding you if you haven't gotten a vaccine yet. There's people, there's countries where they're talking about taking legal actions against you if you if you don't get the vaccine. It's crazy in some of these other countries. I was here I have a few friends in Ireland. Yeah. And apparently, like, lockdown was really hardcore there. Like, it's only, like, a couple weeks ago that they started being allowed to have, like, people over to their houses. So That's everything's nice. been closed. Mm -hmm. And it's just, like, we, in America, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that in the society here because everybody would just be like, fuck it, I'm going to get outside anyway. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened anyway. They were like, shut down. They're like, two weeks later, they're like, two weeks is good, right? Like, yeah. just spring like break around. happened, all right? <laughs> you like it or not, spring break happened in America. And, and that was it. They were just like, yeah, yeah, it was, no, it's, so uh, you know, that's we'll so see. True. But here's what, what I think is interesting is, you know, we, we really, our country kind of screwed the pooch a little bit in, in, at times because we got, we didn't do enough and our country was overwhelmed. And we were like the, the poster example of what not to do. Well, now here we are, the table we're turned and our country's like on our way out. And like, there's countries like, I think Japan, there's, there's so much red tape to get a vaccine that they've only vaccinated like a very small amount of their population where we were like, roll that ish out. Like, you know, now we're giving away extra vaccines to other countries and stuff now because we're like, now we're, we're going back to normal and other countries are like just as bad as they've been the whole time. So it's weird how that, how the tables turn on that stuff. Mm -hmm. America is funny, man. America is funny. I look, <laughs> yes, I look at America are. almost like America is like, wow, this is a hot take. America's kind of <laughs> like Magic Johnson. Where it's like, yeah, we're just going to get out there and we're just going to fuck every, every chick that we find. Oops, we ended up with you know, HIV, but guess what? We got the money to get rid of it. <laughs> so we just, what? I mean, <laughs> what? I mean like, it's, it's kind of, I mean. <laughs> America is Magic Johnson. Because we just got rid of it. We're at the lowest, lowest we've ever seen. Or we've seen since it, since it began, at least. You know, it's crazy mm -hmm. that we just had the money and the companies to do so. Mm -hmm. I did see an article that said all of the hospitalizations in COVID have one thing in common. They're all unvaccinated. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, it's a, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't get the vaccine. And then everyone who's in the hospital didn't but get the vaccine. I, I do want to show you this one thing that, you know, since since I got the vaccine, this spoon, it now, hold on, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, it's, hold, hold, keep talking. I'm going to get it. stick to, to you, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm mag, I'm mag, We're look at that, it. explain that to me. I had. Let's explain. <laughs> I think you need to explain that to us, friend. <laughs> it's going around right now that. Have you been magnetized? Anti vaxxers are saying that you get magnetized. If, you know what? I have a story about this, to be honest. My friend from work, I went over to her place to see her because I hadn't seen her in forever. Uh, her and her husband were hanging out. And I guess her dad didn't want to get the vaccine until like they were literally like, we're like, um, we. 
if you're not, we're gonna let you see our kids unless you get the vaccine. You're not, you know, if you want to see your, your grandkids. So they eventually got it. And I guess some guy at work did that to him with a quarter and it stuck on his arm, but he yeah. was like working outside. He's like sweaty. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and they were like, well, have you tried to do it with another quarter? And like, he was like, I knew you were going to say that. That's what they all say. Why don't you just take it? This is what happened. And they're like, just show us, put another quarter on your arm that it sticks to your arm. No, you guys just don't do it. And they're like, the hell is wrong with you you don't even want to be proven you just want to believe that it's true so bad that you won't be proven wrong that it's not true it's, it's I was just all like, right it's, the country it's, is insane it's all right man they're allowed to they're allowed to think whatever they want to man absolutely there's, there's people that still go to church out here <laughs> yeah I, I, that's a anymore that is the minority it seems like when you hear about church like you don't hear a lot of people talking about going to church anymore I mean, churches are still big. There's still lots of people that go. But I remember being younger and hearing lots of people reference church. And it seems like it's been less and less as we've gotten older. I Do you mean, hear people talking about church a lot? It's, it's, it's a lot less than it used to be. Um, I did see a study on it. They say that it's that church going is definitely down right now. But I don't know if that's necessarily for the better or the worse. I don't know. I kind of feel so, like it's good to have some morality, even if it is built around like what could be conceived as fictitious stories. But you know, you got to have some, yeah, some yeah. grounding in our culture. Some people, some people need a guide to uh, to be able to not be complete pieces of uh, crap. <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't have any sort of mor- I don't. Where do I? What? What? Yeah, be yeah. good to other people. What is that? Yeah, like I grew up in a church. My father was actually a pastor of a church, um, and. I have told Jonas many times, I don't know how he turned out to be such a nice guy and not a complete <laughs> asshole with no church in your history. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. My like, if I had, had no church, what'd you say? My family didn't go to church. No? Yeah. How'd you turn out? Look at me now. How'd you turn out? How'd you turn out? Like this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> With an extensive alcohol collection. And- right. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's All okay. Right. I, have, I have goat yoga. I don't need church. You're goddamn right. <laughs> what were you going to say, TNT, about church? But you didn't know what? Uh, no, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, well, it, it, what I think, I, I think it just goes to show that, like, Sometimes, like, yeah, you don't, like, my parents, my parents never forced me to go to church. I don't think they were forced to go to church as kids, but, like, they had generally decent values. And I think if you don't go to church, you need a strong, so, somebody to kind of help shape you in a way to, like, tell you what's wrong and right and that to treat people good and have good examples. Like, if you don't go to church and, like, your parents are complete a-holes or they're racist or they're whatever, you're going to end up like an a-hole and you have no one else to give you guidance of like what should be a good moral path and what shouldn't. So I guess I'm lucky that my parents, like, even though they weren't churchgoers were like decent humans and like taught me like not to do nasty things and be kind to everyone and yeah. all that kind of crap. So, And if it's any consolation, I went to church for most of my teenage and young adult years and I'm a complete asshole. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I don't. You never know, dude. You never know. <laughs> It was that uh, it was the Catholic schoolgirl uniform. I went to Catholic school, thank you. <laughs> I did. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Oh God. So, All right, no more pandemic talk, please. Let's yeah, I know. I was changing it up. It dude. was, good, it was a good one though. We normally don't talk about pandemic. So we found a, okay. So you spoke North Korea on a trip with that's how they would offer you to get the vaccine. But what has recently happened in North Korea is Kim Jong-un has decided that mullet haircuts, nose piercings, and skinny jeans, amongst other things, uh, trends, are against the law. And now there's a state-run youth organization that act as fashion police to enforce those rules. So as much as all the Koreans want to have mullet haircuts and skinny jeans, they are not allowed now. That's crazy. Yeah, you got to get rid of all your skinny you, jeans. You can do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, right. You got to get rid of all your skinny jeans if you ever go to uh, North Korea, uh, Coco. I mean, mullets <laughs> should be illegal, though. I mean, let's be real. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Yeah. yeah. Um, skinny jeans. Hmm. What's your what's your what's your viewpoint on skinny jeans? 
I, I wouldn't survive. All of my pants are skinny jeans. Okay. Um, how many nose I, uh, piercings do you get have you wear, on, a, on a day in a day? Can you wear yoga pants? Oh. See, I think those would be more offensive to their culture than skinny jeans. Right? It's basically just like show your booty day when you put on yoga <laughs> pants. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know how old Kim Jong-un is, but I think it's hilarious how he's just like, he's just instilling his boomer cultural ideas onto the entire culture. The fuck, dude, Korea. he's like 37 years old, bro. He is a young, he's a young leader, dude. Look, he's not old at all. I'm looking it up right now, dude. He's 37. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, no, dude, he's almost 40. But, dude, he's, <laughs> he's been in charge for, like, 10 years. I actually saw a thing where he uh, he just came out of hiding because everyone, like, thought he was dead for a while. Yeah, he lost and, a bunch uh, of weight. Yeah, well, in the, that, they're like, that that only goes to, like, validate that he was, like, sick and dying in a hospital and could, yeah. like, you know, he's like, oh, oh, you lost half your body weight after you've been disappeared for a year? Yeah, yeah. you probably went to hospital almost dead. Like, yeah, he yeah. definitely had some surgery, but he can't look weak. Um, <laughs> exactly. All yeah, right, so Coco. I know. I know. Hold on one second. Go ahead. Also, branded T-shirts were for, so like you couldn't wear any more uh, branded t -shirt. No, no American. Uh, fuck your Yankee blue jean propaganda. In the, oh, so like, okay. Like Adidas shirts or you know Nike shirts or any of that crap. So honestly, that sounds like almost laissez fair, almost like communism. To a certain extent, they are a communist country. Are they? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I thought percent. they were a dictatorship. Oh well, I mean, but they're they have communist roots. If they're a dictatorship, I mean, they definitely it's like China. I mean, Technically, they're like communism and dictatorship. Like true communism really can't be achieved, but like dictatorship, the way that like certain people who like kiss Kim Jong Un's ass live in North Korea versus the people who you never see on camera live. That's like that just feels way like <laughs> way wrong, I guess. For oh, yeah, they like, that North Korea is like destitute, other than like yeah. what, you, what you don't see, it is like the poorest of the poor of the poor. Yeah, yeah it's Hunger Games there, basically. Yeah, <laughs> Kim Jong un is the man in the feather hat. Did you <laughs> wear a feather hat in Hunger Games? Yeah. I never saw it. I thought he was so. a Roo. I thought he was a Roo. Um, Coco, can you tell me if you've ever had, like, your mom or your father had them ever tell you something that you could not wear? Where they put the foot down and said, you are not leaving the house and looking like that young lady. No. I, I, no, that never happened to me. Really? I think that happened to every, at least every female. I know it's happened. Well, to let me ask you this: Was this because you didn't wear anything that they wouldn't approve of, or they just they just were like cool or didn't care or whatever? I didn't wear anything like any like super short skirts or anything. I didn't Piercings. even have. Uh, I had my ears pierced, but that's it. Like my parents wouldn't even let me. Like once again, I got to reiterate that I I grew up in a church going household. Yeah, my parents wouldn't let me get my hair my ears pierced until I turned eighteen, and then when I did it, they begged me not to and offered me money to not. Wow, do dude! They offered it's to pay you Satan. to not do it. Satan. Satan. <laughs> but do you have a sister? I do have a sister. Did she get her ears pierced? She did get her ears pierced, but my my mother and father were in a different place in their lives when she was of age versus when okay. I was of age. So Satan for me, whatever, do what you want with her. <laughs> but do you I mean, think, I, that, I, I do you think that's just like because of the church that they didn't want you to, to or because they're like, we don't want a guy getting their ears pierced? Yeah, I think back then it wasn't cool for guys to get both of their ears pierced. Guys could only get the one ear pierced. Yeah, and it better and it not be the be right the one. Yeah, exactly. Because that, yeah, it was like it depended. It told you what it was. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. The God, the eighties were so effing wrong, dude. It was just like I remember being a kid and like being in the swimming pool and hearing like the people at my like, family's gathering or friends of my family are talking about like making fun of the guy with the earring and like it be, Oh, you better not get the wrong side pierce. Da, 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 da. Right? Like, I remember that dude. It used and, to like, be a thing. It was a different time back then, dude. It really was. <laughs> it was weird. Growing up in the eighties was weird. I don't know if, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it was just weird. <laughs> cocaine and neon clothing and bigotry everywhere. I didn't, I didn't do cocaine. No, the it was that rampant is. in the in the adult world. I wasn't a child doing cocaine. I was like, damn, you were like <laughs> six years old was, doing cocaine. Yeah, I was getting it. So for what you guys said, here, here's my example. My mother signed for me to get my tongue pierced when I was 16. My dad took me to get my ears pierced when I was in high school. At the, so, so like, yeah, I had multicolor hair. I did, yeah. <laughs> I would have got sent yeah. to conversion therapy if I tried to get my tongue pierced. <laughs> conversion therapy. They were just <laughs> like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but we got to convert you. To <laughs> I would have been tarn and feathered. Heart and feather, dude. Heart no and way, feather. no way, no yeah. way. I would have never been allowed to get my tongue pierced, but, but also never, I would. You never, you never asked. Yeah. What you say? I said you never asked, though, right? No. Yeah, yeah. My parents were old hippies, dude. They were like whatever. I mean, not like pure hippies, but they. I mean, they were like, they weren't like ultimate hippie, but they didn't like sit around and like smell like patchouli and wear hemp necklaces and stuff. But like, they were pretty hippie ish. For sure. So yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. Like I, uh, I ended up all right. I guess <laughs> they're like, here, do this weird ish, <laughs> and then I don't know, man. I just think it's weird that like countries still exist in 2021 where they're like, you can't wear skinny jeans. Do it's and that's a, that's okay. That's a thing. Like the world knows that happens, and that's all right. What can we like, do? Live in America like we do, and then we don't have to worry about that stuff. Somebody brought it up to me that they thought it was the weirdest thing in the world that um, that the, our planet still had borders. That we're still s separating ourselves and segregating ourselves by just like pure ge geographical location because we can't pool our resources. Oh, I never thought about that. Like, it's so ridiculous. They were like, if the aliens ever came down here, they'd be like, wait a minute. So you can't go over here unless you have a passport? <laughs> You can just walk over there. You can just walk across the border. But no, you can't yeah. do that. So Yeah, there's parts of the border where there aren't even a fence. You could just literally walk into Canada, like, or walk into Mexico. It's like, yeah. it's open. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely going to come a time where we're going to have to forego some of these antiquated ideals of, like, borders, and we're going to have to pull our resources against the common goal. I thought that, sorry to even bring it back up, I thought the pandemic may be that, but... I feel fear may take something even more catastrophic in order for us oh, to Oh no, do that, that 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 separated everybody harder. <clears throat> so yeah. we locked yeah. everybody down individually. So yeah. we, I mean and abortion is beneficial for that. <clears throat> what what'd you say, Coco? And it became a political thing, like vaccinated versus not vaccinated and all this, you know. Yeah. Is 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 COVID a myth? I remember that was like a big political thing. We one day we watched a video, you know, like people were saying it was 5G related. And like, so we so we looked it up, like, what is the theory behind this? And we watched this video, and like the the sad part was the dude made a really good case. Like, so if you're not educated or smart enough to like really think outside, like he he pulled all the proper facts together to make a really good case. But I was like, I just can't believe people are falling for this stuff. Yeah, so. people be believe anything if you're convincing enough in your argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you ever been so, in a cult, Coco? Have I ever been in a cult? Not that I know of. Okay. Oh, that's the best kind. Does of... Wait, does improv count? <sighs> well, that's we're out of time. Big cult. We're out of time. FBI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah, improv. Uh, it's it's its own little culture for sure. <laughs> the cult. first part of that word, cult. <laughs> exactly see see what i did there so so okay so did when you guys were growing up did did your mom ever like show up to school or like show up unexpected or like embarrass you at school or do anything like that like do you ever have your parents show up at school and do something that's no? not my bag <laughs> that's not no? my bag. No. so i actually i found a story that i wanted to talk about and then I, we didn't have a chance to talk about it over the last couple of weeks. And then in, in, in time, I have now found another story. So the first story comes from Miami, Florida. A woman trespassed at a Miami high school and pretended to be a student, 
handing out flyers with her social media information, trying to get Instagram followers. Yeah, this yeah. woman was from Miami. This woman did not have a student at the school. Was didn't have a daughter or a kid at the school, mm -hmm. but she went there and she ended up being like arrested for like trespassing and yeah. is now banned from the from the school. So uh, that yeah. was the first story. And then the second story I just found a a Texas mother I was went to if school bring this up. pretending to be her thirteen year old daughter because yeah, yeah. they all had to wear masks. She just went to school and hung out for a day pretending to be your daughter <laughs> and got arrested twice. as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> So my question is, how fucking insane of a parent or a woman or a man or whatever to be? Like, why do you need high schoolers following you on Instagram for one? And two, like, why? I didn't watch the video why she, I guess, explained why she did that and went to school for her 13-year-old daughter. I don't know, to take a test for her or something. <laughs> and how, how vain to be like, I can pass for 13. <laughs> 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 this 30 year old woman's like yeah i look like a 13 year old girl <laughs> hey man films in the 80s and 90s they did it all the time right oh my god dude that was, that okay thing. 80s movies were really messed up like really <laughs> really messed up dude like because like when i was a kid i used to love revenge of the nerds no. and that movie they like it's like they break in and put cameras in the sorority house. No. They steal their panties. The dude pretends to be the other girl's boyfriend to have sex with her, and like at the end, he's like, "Ha ha, jokes on you! I had sex with you." And she's like, "Oh my god, it was amazing!" Like what the? F they make, take the picture of her naked and sell pies with like it, like the whipped cream and the thing. When you get to the bottom, it was one girl naked from the stolen photo. Like that the movie is a scene. felony. The glory hole scene still made me maybe me uncomfortable then, and I still am uncomfortable with. Wait, it hold on. What glory hole scene? There's the Orkies? there's the scene where he puts his penis through a hole in the in the locker room wall, to the girls' locker room, and then like the big janitor. No, it's the uh, it was the woman gym teacher. That was Porky's. Oh, okay, well, I, whatever. I mean, scene. another another <laughs> really bad movie that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, that exactly. scene made me uncomfortable then, and it makes me uncomfortable to this day. Yes. Like, how the hell did they get away with that ish in the – I don't know. Like, uh. And, like, <laughs> and they had all those, like, sleazy, like, snow ski academy, bro. And it was just, like, people partying and, like, people were – it was, like, what the fuck did people want to watch in the 80s? Like, Yeah, none of those movies aged well. I remember even in, like, uh, Back to the Future – his dad is a peeping Tom. <laughs> Wait, when that's did great. when did Marty McFly's dad pee? pee yeah, that's how he met. Pee. That's how he. <laughs> that's how he met his mom. She he yeah. fell out of the tree, and her dad hit him with the car. He right? was staring at her, and then like they fell in love. I, until you just said that, that hasn't registered with me. I right, love that movie. That. Or like Weird Science, they make a woman in their bedroom, and then like, yeah, it's just I don't know, dude. They the eighties. Wow. <laughs> just just one of the guys. Yeah, the girl the guy the girl pretends to be a guy to get on the journalist staff and like wears the sausage in her pants and like pickle in her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy who uh he was a gigolo, you'd order anchovies off the pizza at the pizza place and he'd show up and it was like the old ladies and they'd be like basically paying he's a male prostitute through the pizza place, like <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know, man. Things it was definitely a different time. Imagine different if Steven time. Spielberg tried to put out a, a like a remake of Revenge of the Nerds today with all that stuff that happened in it. Like how many people would just lose their goddamn mind? Yeah, I'm I'm telling you, I'm I'm amazed that we turned out relatively normal. I mean, yeah. There's, there's still a subset of people who are like, I can't believe things aren't the way they used to be. I'm like, I'm glad that we moved on. <laughs> right, I'm right. Glad. It's like, yeah. They're like, "What do you mean I can't say that?" And you're like, "Look, Look. think about how society was back then. Yeah. We've really evolved and progressed a long way." <laughs> like, is there somebody still out there fighting for like gladiatorial combat in an arena with a lion versus a man? Like, I remember <laughs> when we used to fight tigers. We send the criminals in there to fight tigers. We can't do that anymore. No, dude, we're not doing that anymore. All right. We're not. Yeah. 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 I feel you. So, anyway, sorry, I got on a tangent. I always On do the that, high school like... thing, I think that it is a good idea. <laughs> I've gone back to like my junior high um, and just and hung like, out and just like walked in the doors and just like 
like walked on the first floor, went into the gymnasium. Um, it was on like a Saturday or something. So there was like only faculty there or something. And I mean, I look like a dad anyway, so I I just walked in. I was like searching for for poon or nothing, dude. I was just like hanging out. I sure as fuck hope not. <laughs> what you saying? Dude, you know, actually when you just said that, I realized every single school I went to has been demolished. My ju- oh, my elementary school, true. my junior high, and my high school are all that's no true. longer in existence. That's true. That's true. Wow. Are, are your schools still standing, Coco? As far as I know, yeah. They actually, they expanded my high school after I left. And so oh, nice. we split up between two campuses, but now they've just like made one campus ginormous so that they could fit everybody in there. Yeah, that's built- actually what they did. Complex and everything. They did that in our in our hometown. There was two high schools. They basically tore both high schools down and built one giant, almost like college campus with numerous buildings and ish. Like it's really nice, but we didn't get to go there. It was happened after we graduated. Have you gone back to visit your your old high school at all since you've uh, since you've exited? Either one of you, I guess. No. 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 I haven't. no. It's nah, not. Dude. It's not a bad experience, or even like junior high. Like I said, man, it's not a bad experience. Um, obviously. You can't just like go up to the front office and be like, "Hey, I used to go to school here. I'm just looking around. That ain't gonna fly." <laughs> you got to sneak in and trespass <laughs> like all these ladies did. Yeah, yeah, you have to trespass. <laughs> so yes, I'm telling you to do that, but you know, just don't do anything evil. Well, now you've hurt my heart because I want to do it and I can't. I have to no. go walk on the hollowed grounds of high school past and just wish I could. This used to be where the gym was, where I hit that girl in the face with a basketball on accident. God rest her soul. Like she didn't die. I remember that school, man. I remember that school. Though. Yeah, I'll we never went forget. there for four years. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I just, I feel like, I feel like these women, honestly, like, well, maybe the one with the daughter, not so much, but the women, the woman who went there to try to get high schoolers to follow on Instagram, I feel like she has a deeper disorder of something wrong with her because like, why don't you just go to the bar and hand out stuff about your Instagram? Like, wouldn't you want adults to follow you unless you're like selling kids books or something? I don't know. Like you're doing adult, like kid content. I'm not, I'm, you know, you know um, popularity is, is subjective. <laughs> kids, kids, uh, thumbs ups and follows mean just as much as an adults. And now That's adults true, only want you if you're doing only fans. I mean, I mean, <laughs> unless you have an OnlyFans, the adults yeah, don't care. Yeah, I'm not gonna follow some girl who just has pictures of herself uh, next to a car in a pool. I don't want to see that. I'm sorry, am I? I'm not a deviant. I'm not just saying. I just, <laughs> listen, I don't follow I... anybody. Is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that she has to show Sometimes her Sometimes you just from... dig your own grave, friend. You're just like... I mean, but it, it's an incentive. It's an incentive, but <laughs> I mean, I don't follow anybody. I'm more I'm just trying to like... imagine a girl next to a car in a pool. Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. yes. Just parked up on the deck. Because <laughs> yeah. that's the kind of pictures I figure you put up on Instagram. Do you even have an... Coco, do you have an Instagram? I do. Uh, what do is it for your is it for your art and business purposes though? It is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See. So. see. Yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not <laughs> saying that your Instagram is probably good. You you should plug your Instagram so people know. By the way, what's your Insta? Shine. Like, I'm good. All right now. If you want, I don't know. Shine Queen. You don't have to. It's fine. No. You good? <laughs> All right. Never. I don't know if you're looking for followers. I'm just trying to keep you out of these high schools. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to start she'll be she'll be at Austin High next next September <laughs> trying to trying to get people to follow her on Instagram. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> no, okay. Oh but goodness. Well, anyways, that that is all the time that we have for today's episode. We've already passed it up. Coco, wow. thank you so much for joining us. Do you have anything that you wanted to uh to plug. add on or do anything or anything you like plug that? Business. Um, any final words? Stay sexy. Don't Ooh. get murdered. I stole that from my favorite murder. I like it, though. Stay sexy and don't get murdered? Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. What is that from? My favorite murder. Never what heard of that? it. What is that? Is that a show? Mm-hmm. It's a podcast. Oh, it's a podcast. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. Competition? You're bringing up... No, yeah, no, she's allowed to plug. Uh, she's allowed to so, plug. Uh, um... It's great to see you guys. It's been forever since I saw your shining faces. Yeah. And, uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, we, I guess we'll bring this up real quick. So do you remember our final uh, improv show where uh, the girl – threatened to throw COVID into the crowd because it wasn't as serious then and how that didn't age well over time. She was yeah. like, oh, milk. Into the crowd. <laughs> like, I was in that scene. <laughs> yeah. 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 I remember sitting on the side and everyone was like, ha, 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 that's really funny. This, this is serious. And we're like a week later. We're like, do you, do you have a favorite scene that you remember from our, our improv days? Something that stuck mm -hmm. stuck in your mind. Something that you remember. Something that you did because you were amazing. You were, yeah, well, yeah, you were amazing, one of the, the, yeah. one of the standouts. Um, <laughs> something I like felt, I was in. Yeah, I felt like I was trying to catch up to you the entire time. Yeah. Or uh, <laughs> or one that you or a scene that you watched with anyone in, like something that stands out that you remember from from our improv experience period. I remember. I really liked the game where um, like it would build one line at a time and then at the end someone would come in and like name the scene because there was there was one where like there, people were like accusing one person was accusing another of like killing their dad and then the other one was like i think it was pablo he was like mm, are you sure you had a dad and then i came <laughs> in and <laughs> said all rise and like it became a courtroom scene <laughs> nice. all right. yeah I like, like i forgot idea. about all that stuff we did like well, i was telling uh who's I, I think maybe it was uh i don't remember what what he went by but it was like uh i don't like i don't remember like a lot of anything we did because like i just i don't like there it was so in the moment when i get done i'm like i don't remember what the hell i was talking about yeah that, you like that, that too that was the coolest part like over time i <laughs> learned how to just like let go Yes. And it's hard to get to that point where you just like you go in and you truly don't have anything in your head and you're mm -hmm. just reacting. That's so freeing. It really mm -hmm. is. Oh yeah, it, it but but then you don't remember what the hell you're talking what you did yeah. but <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when Coco became a cat? I do. That's what I was going <laughs> to bring up. <laughs> This is that before, was really good. This is before I made Tom Booker vacuum the rug too. So that just to like even up the bravery from this one. <laughs> that carpet was definitely not the freshest carpet in the world. That was, that was gross. I'll never forget you becoming a cat, dude. It was one of the best. Um, one of the. Best. You know what I remember is that scene where we had to drive in a car together, and we like, and like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember much else about it other I than remember we me and her on a horse too one time. <laughs> oh yeah. There's a ton, dude. There's so, so much. Yeah. And we, we, were, uh, we were we were supposed to be on like a blind date, but we were not facing each other. And you dumped <laughs> a milkshake on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. much, man. Good times. Yeah. I definitely yeah. miss it, man. We'll have to get back into it. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Even if you got, I would love to just get together and just like do stuff. But like, I feel like I'm so far off from remembering how to do it in general because it was like, it was like what three hours a week for basically nine months straight, and then we haven't done anything for like 15 months. <laughs> so <Yeah>. it's. <clears throat> but I feel like it would be like riding a bike within like one one class session of like a few classes that we'd probably be right back to where where we were, you know. So, but. TNT, you got any closing words? Any final things? Any anything? Nothing. I'm just very glad to see that uh, Coco is well. I'm glad to see that um, she was willing to do this, even though I may or may not have been a jerk to her in the past. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just I'm glad to see that uh, that you're still just as funny as ever. You know, yeah, yeah. it means yeah, a lot. So. To have um, as, I, as I've told the others, yeah, we, we're kind of, I'm just trying to get as many different people as I can. And then as things that we probably will start bringing people back and doing things. So if you're willing to come back, you will definitely be welcomed back and maybe we'll do a four person thing. Or like I said, try to get everybody from the improv group together and do a podcast somehow, however the hell that would work. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll Let's make it, out, so. make it chaos. Hell yeah. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, if you haven't uh, yet, go to thecrazytown.com. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we're on Spotify. We're on iTunes. We're on all that stuff. The devil. So, <laughs> so for Jonas. TNT. For the, def for the devil. <laughs> and? Coco. Coco. We are out. <laughs>